channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a hair look, which was inspired by something I saw on Pinterest, and I've also been seeing it go around Instagram, and it's glitter roots. So I just made my own hair glitter, pretty much consists of gel and some holographic glitter, or any glitter that you would like. It's a fun project, and it definitely livens up your look. It's a much cheaper option than purchasing the already made hair gel it was super easy to make oh so if you want to see how i got this look including the braided fun buns then please keep on watching this is so here are the things you need um pretty much any hair gel that you would prefer some glitter any glitter of your choice i got these off of amazon and i like to add some confetti these are small star shaped confetti just to add a little bit of extra glam to the look and then these are just some brushes that you could use to apply the gel to your hair either way you can use whichever you would like then you would just need some bobby pins and some rubber bands for the hairstyle now i'm just doing the basic pretty much brushing my hair making sure there's no tangles in it then i'm going to part my hair directly down the middle and i'm going to part it all the way down the middle to the this is kind of like a pigtail look look except we're putting them up into buns but pretty much that's why you want to have the two even sections now you don't have to do this hairstyle to do your glitter roots um you can style your hair however you'd like i've seen plenty of different hairstyles with the glitter on the roots you could even put the glitter on the ends of your hair it's totally up to you but this is the way i decided to do mine so I'm just going to brush and comb my hair into two pigtails and just smoothing out the hair with a brush or a comb and making sure it's even. And I'm just checking my placement of where I'm going to be placing my bun just to make sure it doesn't look too high or too low on the top of my head. I'm just securing these pigtails with rubber bands because my hair is kind of thin and you kind of don't want a bulky look so rubber bands are ideal for this look my pigtails were a little bit uneven so i just went back and fixed them but then i started braiding and you just want to do a regular braid split it into three sections and braid all the way down to the bottom and you want to leave a little bit of room on the bottom of the braid because we're going to be pulling at the braid to make it a little bit um, wider and thicker looking when we wrap it around the hair to make it look like a nice thick bun. like I said before this is just gonna give it some more um, definition to the braid and just making it also look thicker now we're going to wrap the braid around the ponytail that we created now you can secure these with bobby pins that's what I did and you can tug and pull at the braid as much as you'd like until you get your desired bun that you're looking for Then I am just going to be doing the same exact thing to the other side and you can adjust these as much as you'd like. So what I found is they were a little bit uneven so I went ahead and put bobby pins in from the bottom up to push the buns up higher on my head and holding them in with a bobby pin. Then to tame the flyaways and the frizz I'm going to be using this Garnet Fructis hairspray i think it is the stronghold and i like this hairspray because it never makes your hair sticky or crunchy then i'm just going to use this eyebrow comb to comb down my baby hairs and frame my face a little bit now it's time for the fun part where we get to make our own glitter hair gel so first i'm taking some hair gel and then I'm going to be mixing a little bit of water in there so our gel is not super thick and hard to apply. Then I'm choosing any color glitter that you would like, but I chose these three colors. I chose silver, pink, and purple because I thought that they were really pretty. You can pick any color glitter you like, any size glitter you like, and it's going to look really nice either way. So I'm just mixing those together. And if it comes out a little bit too watery, you can add a little bit more gel, but you want a smooth consistency you don't want it to be too thick or too thin 
Then I'm gonna be adding some of these confetti stars. You can totally leave it like this. You don't need to add the confetti stars, but I thought that they would be a nice addition to the glitter. Now I'm just gonna be applying that to my hair. You don't have to only apply this to the roots. You can apply it anywhere on your hair that you would like. So as you can see, the little stars are placing themselves, but I found that sometimes they bunched up in one section. So you can always pick up the stars and move them around, or you can add more if you'd like. Also, if this wasn't enough glitter for you, you can also sprinkle glitter right on top of this wet gel, and it will create an even more intense glittered look. I'm just adding a few layers of this to build it up, but pretty much you can add as much or as less as you'd like. And this is the finished look. It was super easy and a super fun project, and I think it's great, especially coming up for Halloween or any kind of festivals. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and be sure to follow me on Instagram. Bye guys!